What happens when you create a machine? You learn the science behind it. What happens when you get a toy? You get a lot of fun and enjoyment. What happens when science meets enjoyment? You get a simple formula. Science plus enjoy equals to a toy from I can joy. The flying disc. The turbo air. The spin and turn racer. The all-in-one connect and learn. How does a helicopter fly? The key lies in the big fan above the helicopter. The flying disc kit works on the same principle. Let's see, how do we construct the flying disc? To start with, we have the mounting board, the gearbox, the battery holder, the connecting pins, the disc and the batteries to power it all. We will now mount the gearbox, the battery holder, the switch and the pins on the mounting board. To activate the system, we need to make the circuit. The gearbox, when connected to the battery, would rotate the motor shaft. We will put the batteries for power. We will mount the disc on this motor shaft and then switch the system on. Now, the disc has gained enough speed, so when I release it, it should fly. The flying disc is your own small experiment with flight. Which is the most critical necessity for an airplane to fly? The turbo air will show us the otherwise unbelievable concept of airlifting an airplane up. We have the mounting board, the blower, the battery holder, the connecting pins, a base to support a lightweight ball, the switch, the ball which we want to fly and the batteries to power it all. We will now mount the blower, the battery holder, the switch, the support base and the pins on the mounting board. We will now make the circuit. The blower has a motor operated system which blows out air when connected to a battery source. Now, if the concept of flying exists, on switching this system on, the ball would fly. And it does fly. And this is why we say, if there's anything like magic, it's science. In this case, it is the turbo air. Have you ever made an automatic car? Make an automatic motor operated car using the spin and turn assembly kit. Like any other car, we will first make the chassis or in simple words the basic body of the car. We will then attach the gearbox to the car. The gearbox is like an engine of the car. The next step is to attach the axle and the wheel. This axle wheel assembly needs to be attached to the basic car body. We will now mount the basic car body on the mounting board. We can now assemble the front wheel and mount it on the board. To run this car, we still need one of the most basic things, power. So we will now mount the battery holder on the board, make necessary connection and put the batteries in. The automatic car is now just a toggle of a switch away. And here we go. The all-in-one is a treat to science lovers. In one go, you can see four magical concepts of science. Hold your breath and keep watching. First of all, we'll begin with by placing the four mounting boards along each other. Then, we will mount the blower, the gearboxes on these boards. We will now assemble the bird and the scarecrow assembly. This assembly will finally move in an oscillatory motion. After we mount the scarecrow bird assembly on the board, we will move on to the final connections. We will first mount the battery holders and the connecting pins on the mounting board. And then we will move on to the wire connections and fitting the batteries. Finally, we will add the elements like the disc and the ball. And once this entire assembly is ready, we can switch them all together. Are you ready to let your factory go alive? Here we go!